guys welcome back to with Charles tips in this video i'm going to talk about how to fix the heat crashing or launch and lag issue fix in need for speed right so there is no need of introduction for the need for speed just directly get into this right so first thing what you have to do is these are the fix i'll be showing you the screenshots which you can try this out by watching this video so the first one fix direct x error this error can occur due to the an outdated gpu or outdated windows version as the DirectX updates comes with the cumulative Windows update and it's always been recommended to update your graphics drivers and Windows OS first. To do so, launch NVIDIA control panel, select manage 3D settings, choose program settings, then select the game from the list and set vertical sync to adaptive half refresh rate. Launch the game on the Steam, turn off in the game vSync and set the display mode to the full screen. Next one. Fix FPS drop and shuttering. St sorry, stuttering. So launch NVIDIA control panel, select manage 3D settings, select program settings and choose the game from the list, set power management mode to prefer maximum performance and set texture filtering quality to high performance. Now launch the game, turn off in game and vSync option, set the display mode to full screen. Moving on, third one, it's all about fix black screen issues. The black screen issue is one of the most issues for the PC gamers and Need for Speed Heat is no expectations and here are some of the players have reported that the game is suddenly black code but the audio is coming out from the background. In the case you will need to press Alt plus Enter in order to fix this issue. If the screen mode will go into the windowed mode and the display will start again. Try updating your GPU driver and Windows OS version at the first and reboot your computer and try restarting the game. You can also verify the game files from the Steam. Use MSI Afterburner software on your PC and try lowering the GPU clock speed to its default mode. Fourth one, it's all about fixed audio issues. So some of the players are reporting that sometime the NFS heat seems to have some issues with the audio quality or even no sound. So make sure that the Windows Sonic 4 headphones option has been turned off. So just right click on the speaker icon, choose special sound to turn it off. Open change system sounds and select playback devices and choose your current audio devices and click on the configure. Now you will need to select the right audio channel for your audio device and click on next. Fifth one, it's all about crashing issues. Plenty of players are also reporting that the NFS heat game starts crashing randomly while playing the game and some of the players are encountering startup crashing as well as in it. So in that case, you should follow some of the possible methods. The first one, restart the NFS heat game after restarting the Steam client and disable antivirus program temporarily. If in case you don't want to turn off the antivirus, make sure that you have excluded the game file from the antivirus program in order to run it properly. The same thing will be applicable for add an exclusion to Windows Firewall protection. Run the NFS heat X file as an administrator in order to do that. Right click on the game XE files, go to properties, go to click on compatibility, mark the check post, run this program as administrator, click on apply and OK. We can also use the MSI Afterburner on GeForce Experience tool in order to fix the GPU related issue. Try reserve disabling the unnecessary overlay tools like GeForce Experience, GameBar, Steam Overlay and Discord Overlay etc. So that's all about when it comes to the fix. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for the notification. This is Shahin signing off from GetRidup. See you soon.